Hello dear friends, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to a new question about dermatology. A 54-year-old woman is prescribed topical fusidic acid for a small patch of impetigo around her nose. She has recently been discharged from the hospital following varicose vein surgery. Seven days after starting treatment, there has been no change in her symptoms. Examination reveals a persistent small crusted error around the right nostril. Whilst awaiting the results of swabs, what is the most appropriate management? A. Oral vancomycin B. Oral erythromycin C. Topical metronidazole D. Topical mupirocin and E. Oral fluclosaxolin here we have a 54-year-old woman is prescribed topical fusidic acid for a small patch of impetigo around her nose, uh, but the lesion is not responded in topical fusidic acid and the patient has the history of hospitalization. It means that the lesion may is due to MRSA or methicillin resistant staph errors and the best choice for the treatment of uh, impetigo due to immersa or methicillin resistant staph aureus is topical uh, mupirocin. Here we are going to explain it. MRSA or methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus should be considered given the recent hospital stay and lack of response to fusidic acid. Topical mupirocin is therefore the most appropriate treatment. As we said, impetigo. Impetigo is a common contagious bacterial skin infection that usually affects children but can occur at any age. As we can see, we can, as we can see in our patient, she is an old age, she is a 50, uh, 54 year old woman. Okay, there are two main subtypes of impetigo non bullous impetigo, which is the most common type. Uh, cause usually Staphylococcus aureus or Streptococcus pyogenes and presentations starts as red macules or pupils quickly becoming a honey colored grass on an erythematous base often around the nose and mouth but it can occur anywhere. Lesions are not painful but may be itchy. Uh, the lesions are highly contagious and this is very important. Here we can see the uh, lesions of uh, impetigo. We can see that erythematous base which involved the, uh, the nasal uh, uh, nose, uh, nostrils, uh, their uh, lips and their face of this child. Here we can see that uh, yellow crusted lesions around the mouth of this child with the diagnosis of impetigo. And bullous impetigo. Uh, cause always due to Staphylococcus aureus producing exfoliative toxin. The uh, bulla formation is usually due to exfoliative toxin produced by Staphylococcus aureus always. Presentation Large flaxseed fluid filled blisters or bulla that rupture easily leaves thin brown crusts rather than classic honey colored ones. More common in infants and young children. Distribution often uh, we can see the lesions uh, on trunk, buttocks, or the upper area. Here we can see the bullous impetigo in the limbs of this patient, and here we can see axillary era impetigo, bullous impetigo in this patient. And there is another type of impetigo which we call it ecthema impetigo, which is a deeper form of. Impetigo causes uh, is usually Staphylococcus aureus or Streptococcus pyogenes. Presentations uh, starts like impetigo but uh, penetrates deeper into their dermis, leads to ulcerative lesions with sick crust and surrounding redness, heals with scarring, and uh, after treating uh, their, uh, these lesions usually. Uh, these lesions usually cause to scar formation. Risk factors for uh, ecthyma impertigo is usually poor, uh, poor hygiene, neglected wounds, and immunosuppression person. In immunosuppression person, it's common usually. Q 
30 points for Impetigo. In non bulos in Petigo, we can see honey colored cross, and in bulos, we can see toxin mediated blisters, as we said, due to uh, producing or uh, exfoliative toxin by Staphylococcus urus. And in eczema in Petigo, usually we can see ulcerative, deep, and scarring lesions. Management of oh, Impetigo. In limited localized disease, topical fusidic acid is first line, as we said. Topical retopamoline is used in second line treatment if fusidic acid has been ineffective or is not tolerated. MRSA or methicillin resistant staph aureus is not susceptible to either fusidic acid or retopamoline, and topical muprosin or bactrobone should therefore be used in this situation especially for our patient which is not responsive to topical fusidic acid then uh, topical muprosin or bactrobone is the best choice in extensive dull in extensive disease oral fluoxetine oral erythromycin if the patient is uh, penicillin allergic in ch uh, and children should be excluded from school until the lesions are crusted and healed or 48 hours after commencing antibiotic treatment as we said that lesions or uh, impetigo are highly contagious thus uh, excluding their uh, children from school 40 or for, is important of 48 hours after commencing antibiotic treatment it was a short explanation about impetigo different types presentation and management we talked about impetigo in our youtube videos for uh, more information you can watch them thank you for your attention